there, this is Jamie Shepard with Hazel and Ruby, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create our holiday crafternoon pom-pom stocking. I'm really excited about this project because I collect stockings, and so when I saw all the different colors of pom-pom trims available, I'm just kind of obsessed. So I'm super excited to show you how to put this one together. This is our, like I mentioned, holiday pom-pom felt stocking kit. You get the cream felt stocking, two pieces front and back. You're also gonna get the six different colors of pom-pom trims. You also get the lace and then your needle and thread, and then the cute um, pom-poms that are already finished for you. These are the big pom-poms that we're gonna hang off the, the tassel at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start by sewing the front of your stocking. We're gonna be designing our pom-pom trims and making the cuff. So decide which way you want your front to be. I like the toes of my stocking to point this way. So we're gonna just take our front piece, and that's the only one that I'm gonna be working with. I'll just set my back to the side. And the first thing I'm gonna do is create the cuff. And so what I wanna do is I am going to take my lace and I'm gonna cut a six inch piece and it's basically just the length of the, the stocking here. So do a little cut. So I am going to sew my lace trim to the back side so that when I fold it over, I've got this cute little, little cuff. So you see if you sew it like that, when I fold it over, it's a, the finished front. So to do that, I'm just going to pin this right to the back here and I'm just gonna pin the, it right along the edge. Okay, so now that I've got that tacked on, I will go ahead and do a little stitch. Now I'm just sewing right along this little binding edge right here, and that's kind of my, my line of sight for my seam. So you're gonna just do, so right over the top of that binding, and I would move it back a little bit from the edge to start so your lace doesn't get caught up in the thread and in that first stitch. So just go ahead and sew that. Little back stitch. Trim your thread. Okay, so now I've got the lace sewn. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is just fold my cuff over. So I would, you can eyeball it or you can take a tape measure and it's about two inches that you're gonna wanna fold that down. That's about two inches right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pin this in place. And this will create the front of cuff of my stocking. So now we have that. The next thing that you're going to want to do is design your pom-pom trips and how you want to lay them out. I've got my stocking laid out, um, and I've actually sewn a couple of them already, but I just wanna show you how simple this is to do. When you lay down your um, first piece, I always cut off that first stocking, it, or that first pom-pom, because -pom, it's right at the end there, and this way they're not gonna get caught up in my stitching seam along when I sew my front and my back together. So all I need to do is just simply pin this. So get it all pinned out, take a look at it, make sure that this is the design that you like, and then you can begin sewing. Okay, so from here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take off this pin, and I actually am gonna pull this a little bit tighter. The pom-pom trim is stretchy, and this way I can make sure that it stays straight and that the tension is good. So then I'm just gonna pull this a little bit tight, um, pull it to the end here, and then I will keep a hold of that while I sew across the length of the stocking. Finish off with a back stitch and then you can trim that stocking end. Okay, so now I've got my front designed. You can see how cute that is. And um, just go, I like to go ahead and cut off my threads as I go along. So that looks really cute. I'm very happy with it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is pin my back to the front and we're gonna sew the stocking together. Before we get to this top part, what you're gonna do next is we wanna match up that this back stocking with the front of the stocking as far as the length is concerned. So we're just gonna fold this backwards just at the same length and we're gonna fold it towards your pins because this way this part is gonna be inside your stocking and we're gonna do a whip stitch at the end. So basically take the to the back, fold it down to match up with your front just like so and then go ahead and pin those together. So now you can see that my front and my back will be perf perfectly lined up. And now we're ready to stitch the whole stocking together. Okay, so we are gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance around the stocking, and I generally just will line up the edge of my foot with my stocking. That's the easiest way for me to, to keep the stitch as straight as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right here at this cuff because we're going to add in our, um, the hanger for the stocking. So I've got some extra lace here that I'm just gonna trim down to about a six inch piece. I'm gonna cut this. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna open up my stocking, just like so. 
and then you've got this folded in half. Um, just go ahead and stick it right into the seam, or right into in between these two pieces right here. And then go ahead and stick your pin right back in to sew those together. Okay, and then we'll just continue and finish our stitch. Cut your threads and then go ahead and take all your pins out. We're gonna do our whip stitch um, just to sew this down. You don't have to do this, but this is something that you can do um, just to finish off your stockings. And we're just gonna kind of grab the underneath part and then the cuff part, pull this up, and just a simple stitch. Okay, now I'm just showing you this. I'm stopping now just for time's sake, but you want to finish the whole thing across the end. The next thing you're going to do is just turn your stocking right side out. So you can see how cute that turns out once you've got all your, your trims on there. We've got our hanging piece. Now all we need to do is add our pom-poms. And all I'm doing here is simply just tying them on to, I actually think I'm going to, yeah, I'll tie the small one on first. And I'm just tying it right around this this loop right here. Okay, we'll just cut those strings. So I've got those secured on there. Now, as you can see, I can hang this on a cute little hook on my mantle or on the wall or just anywhere cute. Fill it up with goodies and I've got a fun stocking for Christmas. We hope you enjoyed this project. This is just one of our, one of 10 holiday craft noon kits that are now available. And you can find out more on hazelandruby.com.